Making Delicious Caramel Apples in the Third Grade by Maddie Dakota. Today in class, we are going to talk about how to make caramel apples. The first step in making these treats is buying your ingredients. What you need for this is a bag of soft caramel candies, apples, sticks, heavy whipping cream, and parchment paper. Making caramel apples can be as simple or as creative as you want. There are so many things you could put on them, like cookies, nuts, sprinkles, or any other delicious concoction you come up with. Now you need to decide what kind of caramel apple you want to make. On your computer, you can look up different candies or caramel apple toppings. Once you've done this, get out a piece of paper and draw what you want your apple to look like. You can find all of the items for your treats at stores such as Walmart, Target, or Aldi. You can even pick apples from our classroom and community garden. Now that you have all of your supplies, it is time to start cooking. Make sure you have a parent or guardian help you with the cooking process. Begin by getting out a piece of paper and writing down how many apples you will be making and how much caramel it takes to make one apple. It will take one fourth a cup of melted caramel to cover one apple. Draw out what you think this will look like on your paper. Then you will use multiplication to find out how many caramels you need. For example, if you have five apples, you can multiply one fourth by five to get one and one fourth cups of caramel. Now open your caramels and place them in a hot pot. You wanna make sure you have enough caramel to cover all of the apples. While your caramel is heating up, wash your apples under hot water and then place the skewer sticks halfway through each apple. Once your caramel is completely melted, stir in two tablespoons of cream for every apple you make. Now you're ready to begin caramelizing. Simply place one apple at a time into the melted boiling caramel. Once the apple is completely submerged, carefully take it out and set it down on the parchment paper. Quickly cover your caramel apple in whatever toppings you want. Be careful, the caramel hardens fast, so you have to work quickly. Repeat this process until all of your caramel apples are finished. Let them sit on the counter or in the fridge for at least an hour before serving. The last step in making delicious caramel apples is eating them. Enjoy your fun and festive treat.